Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Libra, some of you are making some big choices when it comes to your income, right? There could be fluctuating income. Some of you are paid by commission. For others of you, you could be coming up with some new strategies that help you save money is what I'm picking up on. You could be self-employed, some of you Librans out there. You have a steady income showing up, but I also see that there's going to be accomplishments and maybe even rewards that come into play for you in the months of May and June is what I'm seeing here, May and June. Now you're also manifesting more money. I see that here with the candle. You're manifesting more abundance, more opportunities for growth, for expansion. This is long term. Wherever you are currently at here, Libra, or wherever you're headed, this is long term energy that's going to sustain you for the rest of your life here on earth or it is a direction that you are moving towards more fulfillment i really like this energy it means that you are putting in the effort you have the emperor showing up you have the magician showing up here we have the king of swords the queen of wands there's a lot of helpful people there's some big wigs is what I'm hearing. Some big wigs that may be headhunting you or that you may come into contact with. You could be partnering up with some people in the month of May that want to collaborate. You have the strength card. There's going to be some choices to make here for you, Libra. I feel like these choices are going to help you fully embrace your power, but you're not quite sure if you believe in yourself enough. Right? You have the Seven of Swords. This can be self-preservation, needing to stay in a position because it feels safe. Spirit saying, but you have everything you need to create this life of abundance. Oh, I'm excited for your reading here. So Libra, starting off, you do have the pendulum. Okay, this is fluctuating income, maybe a little bit back and forth. If your income feels steady at this time, I feel like there's a little bit of indecision around moving in a new direction, strategizing. Some of you may have went through a temporary, maybe layoff or seasonal work here, some job changes. There's choices that need to be made, and I feel like these choices have to do with working with specific people, working with a specific company or organization, but it also has to do with you doing something that may scare you a little bit because it's new and you're not used to it, but you are stepping into your power, and I feel like this is a really good thing for you, Libra, and of course, we're going to be scared of some sort of change coming in but you are worth it. You see here that the frame, typically there's some sort of education or diploma, certification. Some of you could be filling that frame in the coming months. This can be about accomplishments, victory, and even if it doesn't quite feel secure at this time, maybe it feels like you're not sure if there's substance enough to fill this frame, the answer is absolutely. You have something unique. That's why there are people that want what you have to offer here. This could be art and design. Some of you may be in the art and design field. This could be a home-based business. You may be self-employed or you are looking to move in a new direction. And maybe that's where that indecisiveness is coming in because you're asking yourself, can I leave my maybe nine to five job and do something over here full-time can I take this class and work this job? So I feel like you're juggling up a few things at this time, but you're a really great multitasker. And I also feel it's important to say yes to things that feel good. There's a return on your investment and to say no to things because sometimes you can be a people pleaser and you have a difficult time, Libra, saying no, but I feel like that's going to be very important for you this month. But I also see you making sure that you're not just saying no, because 
it puts you in a space of being vulnerable. I feel like vulnerability is your greatest strength here with this Leo energy coming in. You also have the candle. The candle is about ambition, taking action. May into June, you're gonna manifest money. You're really getting noticed. You're getting recognized here. Some of you, this is a management role. It's high rank, it's visibility. You could be thinking physically or mentally, you're very active with the athletic energy. You're on your feet here for some of you, but I'm also getting a reinvention of yourself. Yeah, you're reinventing yourself and you may even be testing out some of your manifestation skills. But then when we get it, right, when we want to manifest something, let's say you want to manifest a lot of money, but with that requires great responsibility because it puts you into a, you know, a leadership role where you have to work harder and then it comes at you and then you're not quite sure, do I have what it takes to keep up? That's kind of what I get here where you're manifesting something that you wanted, but you weren't quite sure how it would come to you, but it's coming with a little bit of effort. And I am getting a busyness, but you have the strength on your side to be able to get through anything, even if it feels like there's a lot of it. Now, bottom of the deck, you have the gold, you have the gears, and you have the ornaments. Beautiful energy. There's the gears, the money starting to flow, your hard work, right? Being uh, put into motion, building maybe a team for some of you, building a business. Some of you may even be working really hard in the month of May so you can take a little bit of downtime. Maybe you want to travel over the summer or you want to plan a trip here. This is about extra money. For some of you, maybe around the next holiday, there could be extra money coming in for you. This is mature investments. Here in the US, I believe the next holiday is Memorial Day. There's a celebration around the next holiday. Some of you may even be in the retail, beauty industry, finish work, or you may be thinking about retiring soon. And we just talked about longevity, long-term growth. Something you're doing now could bring in some sort of passive or residual income where you can work smarter, not harder, Libra. I also see that if you went in for some sort of banking, okay, went in for some sort of loan, you do have the loan approved and you have banking here. Maybe you work as a teller or you work in the loan department or maybe you're getting a business loan. I feel like it will be approved. You're taking a look at your values. You're investing in yourself. There's a return on your investment. I'm also getting better health for you Librans out there because you're starting to put more energy and momentum into the things that empower you with that emperor. And you're able to manifest things quite quickly. Some of you are in a really powerful manifestation phase or period. I mean, we're constantly manifesting, but I feel really good about this for you. Now you have weekend sale, 70% off. Some of you could be shopping for an item that may have to do with your business or with your career. Some of you, this is just shopping around because this is a career and money reading. So if there's something you're looking to buy, maybe it's a big purchase, maybe it's a home, it could be a washer or dryer, it could be you know, a cell phone, a vehicle, whatever this is, make sure you're shopping around because I feel like there are better deals versus just choosing and going with that option if you wanna save a little more money because we do have the saving money card. Now, if that doesn't matter to you, of course, you don't have to shop around, but I feel like there's uh, up to possibly 70% off retail, which is a big discount. You have loan approved, stamp of approval. Some of you are also getting certified. They're showing me the golden foil that sometimes is on a certification that would be in that frame. So it's almost as if you are approved, some sort of certification, a stamp of approval, sealing the deal. You could be graduating. Yeah, there's an accomplishment coming in and you're gonna feel really proud of you. And I feel these other people around you are very proud of you as well because I, I am sensing that there could be someone that is a little bit complicated in your workspace, but I do feel like there are people that support you as well. Now you have, we're hiring. If you're looking for a job because there's someone challenging Libra, I think you're gonna get that approval this month. And then we have competition. 
This is above the competition here. This is friendly competition. So some of you, this is that five of wands energy, but instead of cutthroat, it's like you're able to help each other out, right? I don't think that we need to be in competition. If, if someone is doing the same thing as you, you can befriend them, learn from them, and grow from them as well. So for example, there's so many tarot readers on YouTube. We don't have to cut throat each other, right? We are in this community of growth and healing and inspiration and support. We can uplift each other. And this is what these two people are doing here. And then lastly, you have Dress to Impress. Libra, you could be negotiating some contracts, looking good, feeling good. You're in your mojo, you're in your element here, and I feel like you're going to knock their socks off. Yeah, you're going to get some sort of deal here. Yeah, this could be also some sort of service you offer. Someone is very impressed with the services that you offer, and they may come in and say, Libra, I really love what you did. I want to work with you, or I want to bring you on board. I want you to be a client, or I want to be a client of yours. So yeah, I just get that you're really impressing some people this month, and you may even be headhunted. All right, Libra, starting off, you have the Magician crossed by the Queen of Cups. Magician is your energy. You have the it's the energy you're showing up as. You have all the tools. You have the natural talent, the skill to take action. This is about you using your personal power for manifesting your dreams and not needing to step on people's toes, right? Or do it in a manipulative, condescending way, Libra. You are kind. You are generous. You're sweet. But the queen of emotions can mean that not everybody is going to be happy for you. Okay, not everyone is going to be happy of your success. And I do see here with the Queen of Cups in reverse, someone may try to steal your thunder. This could be someone who's jealous or very overly emotional, right? This person needs to fill their own cup. So if anyone is coming at you feeling a little bit insecure or jealous, it's because they may want what you have. I also see here another story. This could be someone coming to you for help or for support. And maybe this is one of those cases where you say, you know, I can help you or I can't help you. You gotta trust your own intuition. I'm also getting, if this is a representation of yourself, Libra, make sure that you are filling your cup because sometimes we can get in that people-pleasing mode. And it's important for you to do things for you, even as you're manifesting beyond your wildest dreams here. Yeah. I also see that people have misused their power in the past, or maybe you weren't quite sure that you wanted something you've manifested. And we talked about that earlier, right? Maybe you wanted to be very, very successful in your business. And you, for example, um, this, this channel, right? This YouTube channel, you know, opening it up to private readings. I know some readers, uh, sometimes they only open it up for a short time and they can get bombarded with readings. But I feel that you are opening the portal. You're opening yourself up to something, but you may get slammed, right? You may get slammed with a lot of energy that you weren't quite expecting. And then you get it and you're like, whoa, how do I efficiently utilize my time? How can I still find balance and take care of myself? Although I said yes, and I have obligations to others here. So I feel for some of you that could be happening because I do see a lot of success here for you. Bottom of the, uh, below you is the emperor. Okay. Aries energy. This is the opposite of you on the wheel, right? This is your, your counterpart in a way when it comes to taking charge, when it comes to stepping into your power, when it comes to authority and structure and stability. This is a lot of power here. And Libra, I feel like you are a natural born leader. You are meant to question, you know, be that questioning Libra that you are, that finds balance by not just choosing this side or that side, but trying to be that middleman as well. When it comes to your thoughts, your choices, your beliefs, 
You're not the type of person that's just going to go in this direction because that's what someone says. You like to weigh up, you know, the pros and cons. And I feel like that's what you've been doing when it comes to your own stability, weighing up some pros and cons. That's why you have the pendulum as well, because you don't want to make the wrong decision, but it's also a little bit of the best of both worlds when you're able to find that flexibility. That flexibility is the key to your stability. Interesting. Libra, in the recent past, we have the King of Swords showing up here. This is your fellow air sign, uh, Aquarius here. Gemini, Libra. So I feel like you're, you're taking an approach of, again, more flexibility is required, but at the same time, sticking to a routine. So that sounds a little counterintuitive. So what I mean by that is switching things up switching some sort of routine and then sticking to a new routine and trying that for a little bit. So staying consistent, but if you've been in a routine that feels a little bit stagnant, I feel like it's important to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, because that's what's going to lead to some big changes. And that may be why we're stepping out of a comfort zone. You can keep doing what you're doing, Libra. If it's working for you, but you may kind of just coast when your potential is way up here. Does that make sense? So when the King of Swords shows up, he's very intelligent. He is very logical and he could be you, right? He's very wise. He'll share his knowledge. He's not interested in fantasy or games. He's going to be clear and blunt. Now, if you are dealing, I was picking up on some of you dealing with someone who may have been a little bit of a a hairy problem or a hairy situation, sometimes this King of Swords, he can be very hot-headed, right? May have a difficult time keeping their cool at times or even tuning into their emotions. So this could be someone that you've dealt with or a characteristic of yourself that's just saying it's time to be more flexible because that's the key to your stability here. Now, what's above you is more confidence. We have the Queen of Wands. This is glow up energy. Libra, you are glowing up this month, being recognized. Yeah, some of you, I feel like this King of Swords is a powerful thought leader coming in saying, Libra, we want what you have. This is what we're willing to offer. So someone that's coming in straight to the point, they are cutting through the chase here and they say, we want you, Libra, and you may have some choices to make here. Okay, Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands, she's strong, she's confident, she's creative, she's bold and wise. She inspires others to live their best lives because she lives and leads her best life. So Libra, you are a powerful influencer here. And uh, yeah, other people want what you have to offer. I also see additional training. I think I mentioned that. Some sort of additional training, even though you are wise, you're very wise and you have other people that, that think highly of you. I just keep getting this energy of switching things up a little bit, maybe being more, uh, more flexible, more adaptable to embracing change, stepping out of a comfort zone. And it may be a little more difficult than you think. So you may know on a deep soul level, Libra, that you are talented, that you're skilled, that you have what it takes. But there's a piece of you that likes to enjoy the comforts and going outside the comfort zone may scare you a little bit, but that's why you have the, the lion on your side, the Leo energy of strength, because this is inner strength, this is endurance, it's power, it's compassion and kindness. It's you being stronger than you think you are and being gentle with yourself because sometimes staying in that comfort zone can even be a form of self-sabotage. There's self-discipline needed in order for you to change up a routine and then stay consistent with that change instead of reverting to a default mode. A lot of signs have been getting the energy of default mode in the month of May, so it may be difficult to stick to something new where we tend to fall back in some old patterns and that's what you are breaking free of this month is what I see. If you want to succeed and take a goal to the next level or hit a milestone here or to really get recognized or uh, you know accomplish some goals of yours, self-discipline is required but if anyone could do it, excuse me, if anyone can do it here Libra, it's you. All right, what's going on in your energy? Seven of Swords. 
there could be some energies around you that may be feeling like you are not wanting to maybe uh, be disappointed or hurt uh, or yeah, you may want to dim your light in some way, shape, or form. I feel like it has to do with that queen of wands. Maybe you've been disappointed in the past, right? And so it feels safe to stay in that security blanket, right? It feels safe. But this can be about self-preservation. It can be about being in a constant state of fight or flight. We don't want to do that, Libra. Fight or flight is reserved for when we absolutely need it, when it's required. But so many of us are walking around in that fight or flight daily. And when the Seven of Swords shows up, this is about you being honest with yourself. Who are you, Libra? Who do you need to become in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve? So I feel like there is a brutal honesty here with that King of Swords. If you're embracing that King of Swords, it is taking a look at how far you've come and what you are willing to invest and put into a situation here. You may surprise yourself. Yeah, because you can see that one part of the seven of swords is shadow. The other part is light. You have some choices to make here. Sevens are about awareness. They're about reflection. They're about insight. And if you go within, which you're really great at doing, Libra, I feel like you're going to come to a spot where you realize you don't need to hide yourself or dim your light to fit in or to feel safe or to feel secure, right? But you're required to take a leap of faith because there's a new beginning coming in for you. Spotlight Libra. This is a glow up month for you. Look at that. She has that light illuminating Above her, Six of Wands is the energy here of maybe fortune, fame. It is success, victory. It is the card of achievement. And we have achievement and accomplishments coming in. And they just took away the R from frame and they showed me fame. So some of you Librans are famous or you are in the spotlight, the social media eye. Maybe you have an Instagram or a YouTube channel. Something is glowing up. You could go viral this month or if you have a portfolio or your work could be getting recognized. This is beautiful. Six of Wands is showing up in your environment. So it's happening in the physical earthly realm. Yeah, there's some fame here hitting you. Uh, hitting you right in your, I want to say, 10th uh, house. I mean, I don't know anything about the different numbers of houses, but I'm hearing 10, 10, 10. Some of you could be seeing 10, 10. Some of you, I mean, 10 breaks down to a one, which is all about new beginnings, leadership. It's about courage. It's about your gifts. It's the self. Some of you, this is a selfish energy. You may think, or other people may think it's selfish, but it's not. It is you doing something for you because maybe they are so used to you giving, giving, giving to them that you do something for yourself and they say, oh, Libra is so selfish, right? They're not helping me like they always do. But Libra, I feel like it's selfless by you choosing you. And that may be what the Seven of Swords is all about. And yeah, you're climbing up here. You're getting noticed. You're getting recognized. Now, what's showing up in the hopes and fears, the Hierophant commitment? Are some of you Librans afraid to commit? Because if you commit fully, what does that truly mean for you? And that's that getting honest piece, right? The Hierophant energy is about divine guidance. It is about institutions, teachings, beliefs, traditions, societal norms, cults, right? Religion. It can be all of the systems that we learned from here on earth from the moment we're born and you may be looking back and and telling yourself you know i just don't align with that societal norm i am me right um i am free to be colorful i am free to be a b or c you name it libra whatever and, and whomever you want to become i feel like you're pushing against some sort of social norms but it's a good thing and yeah, not everybody is going to agree with the Queen of Cups, but you have some really special gifts and skills and talents where a lot of people are going to follow you. I am getting followers here for you. So, I mean, they could be following your lead, following by, you know, you being that example. 
Some of you are trendsetters. Yeah, you're setting uh, some new opportunities and doorways up for other people to move forward in their dreams. But you also see here in the Hierophant, she's naked. So there's a level of vulnerability here. And out of all the cards that we see, she's the one that is, is the most vulnerable. So it's almost as if you are completely committing to who you are by stripping it all away. Seven of Swords, getting completely honest with yourself about your beliefs and not apologetic, being apologetic at all, right? Not apologizing for your truth or who you are. And I just get that some of you, you've dimmed your light out of fear of criticism or shame or rejection or abandonment or low self-worth, Libra. And the hope is that you can commit to this path fully. And I feel like you are wanting to. And with the, the strength on your side, I feel like you will. And your final outcome is the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Materials. This Ace is a new beginning in the material and physical world. It's good news regarding your health, your career, your money, your home. It's unlimited, untapped potential. And you have the reservoir to tap in, right? There's a lot where this comes from for you. And with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there's a lot of success, a lot of abundance. Some of you, there's a gift coming in, possibly even an inheritance. There is a bonus. There could be a raise. There could be a gift. I think I said gift twice. So don't be surprised if someone gifts you something quite significant. I mean, it could be a tip. It could be, you know, a, a cupcake, right? It could be anything under the moon. It could be a compliment is a gift. Be sure that you're open to receiving because so many times we tend to shut down compliments. Oh, this old sweater, I've had this forever, but thanks, right? Or, ah, that's not really nothing. We tend to kind of shun it away or we tend to not fully validate. That can be lying to oneself as well. That can be, you know, a sense of, do I believe I'm worthy enough to have those compliments or to receive those compliments? And the answer, Libra, is yes. If someone is telling you you're you're beautiful or you're handsome or you're good at your craft or you have skill or you have talents, believe them. They're not just saying it. All right, let's get a message here from the wisdom of the oracle. What do we have for Libra? Oh my gosh, Libra, you have the best card in the deck. You have Treasure Island. Whatever's happening for you in the month of May is big, is big. Uh, we have regeneration that also is showing up. So you've gone through a period of regeneration. I feel like you're over that because it's still in the deck. It's something that you have had to play with a little bit is maybe a death and rebirth, maybe a rising from the ashes, but it's also card nine. Nines are about completions. They're about accomplishments here. And the abundance message for you, Libra, is this. The law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. And the message is this. At this time, Libra, you can be confident that success is yours. Your ideas are all hitting the mark and you are in a true manifestation period. You can't make that up. That's that magician. We literally said those words verbatim earlier. You're in a true manifestation period when you will see evidence of the seeds of prosperity you've planted in the past. The appearance of this card in a reading indicates that your dreams and aspirations align with concrete signs of prosperity in the world of form. That's that Ace of Pentacles. That's the world of form. This is a very auspicious and fortunate time for business. Creative projects will flourish as inspiration strikes. Okay, don't we have inspiration? Here as well, we do have the candle, the candle striking that match, inspiration. This is action and manifestation. Share your wealth with others too. Generosity and gratitude should lead you now. And that's why you have the Queen of Wands. She's very generous with her time. And that can be part of this Queen of Cups as well, Queen of Emotion. If that's a challenge, 
Uh, maybe some of you, it's about spreading the wealth, spreading the generosity and sharing, maybe sharing, it can be finances, it can be sharing knowledge, sharing time, because I feel like you're getting back so much more and some, Libra. Okay, for those of you that at times struggle with maybe poverty consciousness mindset, for those of you that it's a lack of or I don't have enough, right? Uh, don't proclaim yourself a victim of disappointment or failed expectations. Now, I'm not really feeling the reversal of Treasure Island here, but I do want to say I feel like you're being ch challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. And that's the reminder here as well with that magician, because we can misuse our power, right? We manifest based on that which we are focused on. So if we are focused on limitations, then we're going to get li limits, right? We're going to put limits and self-sabotage on what is available to us. But if we are focused on abundance and we're willing to take a risk, right? Because we have nothing nothing to lose except our confinement in a prison of our own making. It says here, open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it, Libra. Yeah, claim it. Because we see you rising up here to fame or rising up to some sort of spotlight, achievement, success, milestone. The eyes are on you. Yeah, major glow up. Treasure chest awaits. This is beautiful. All right, let's get a message here from your spirit animal. And at this time, Libra, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep inhale from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. And upon your exhale with your eyes closed, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge, one that you currently have at home, or maybe they've recently crossed your path in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Libra. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do, Libra, is drop your power animals in the comment section below the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right. Uh, now, I'm not sure if this is going to come up or not, but some of you may have been seeing this. In my mind's eye, right away, I seen whale. Uh, whale, some of you may have seen a large humpback whale or even a killer whale as well. Okay, we have groundhog spirit, we have beaver, we have wolf, and we have lizard. Some of you may be 38, 67, six years, <laughs> some of you are six years old. Uh, some of you may be born on the sixth or you may be 31. So 38, 67, 31 or born on the sixth life path six or personal year six lizard says dream your world into being we see you dreaming and manifesting and we see the ace of pentacles turning it into reality so lizard is right on target here we have wolf turn knowledge into wisdom you're good at that libra you are good at that you have a lot of knowledge it's time to utilize what you've learned. Time to take it to the next step. Turn it into wisdom. B 
Beaver says, lay a solid foundation. A lot of you have already laid a solid foundation, but you're adding to it. It's like you're filling in the holes, filling in the void. For others of you, if this is a new path, which it could be Ace of Pentacles, it's important to lay a solid foundation now because that's going to help you grow more and more uh, stability and security over time. That no matter what comes through, just like that beaver's dam, right? It can't, it cannot destroy it, cannot wreck it. And I'm talking about external factors. This can be other people's projections. It could be your own limiting beliefs. If you build such a strong, solid foundation, nothing's going to penetrate. And then we have groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Let go of rigidity. Let go of scarcity or poverty conscious mindset. Let go of people who don't support you. Let go of your own self-limiting beliefs, self-sabotage. And lastly, let go of insecurities. They don't belong. None of that belongs where you're going here, Libra, because you are a gift. You have a lot of skills, a lot of talents, and you are born for success here. Now, last but not least, let's get a message from the soul's truth and see what your soul wants you to know at this time that can help you thrive and move forward on the path forward. What do we have? Am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. We talked about all that. You must be brave and trust yourself more than you ever have before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Today's soul action, Libra, be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra, it's possible. I love that for you, Libra. Everything it just talked about, we, we mentioned the vulnerability, right? And stepping out of the comfort zone, stretching yourself. We talk about, you know, adaptability and non-conforming, not holding yourself back. It literally says here, lift the lid on your own dreams. And a lot of times there can even be great fear of success, great fear of recognition, great fear of acknowledgement, because we are not sure how we are supposed to take that, right? Is it something that we're worthy of? Those are insecurities that you are being asked to push through because you are worthy of it all. And remember, the word impossible itself, Libra, spells I'm possible. That is what I have for you. May looks to be a huge, huge month. If you haven't already checked out your 2024 yearly readings, I do a month by month breakdown. You may wanna see how May coincides with your May career reading as well, because I feel like this could be a really big month for you in 2024 and maybe, maybe many different areas of your life as well, Libra. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If so, please hit that thumbs up. Feel free to share, like, comment, drop your power animals in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Lots of love.